Hey everyone, I'm Dave and welcome to my channel. Today's video is a viewer requested topic. A couple weeks ago, somebody reached out to me in the comments of one of my other videos and asked for help setting up custom templates for string art. Now, full disclosure here, I had no idea what string art was, so I had to Google it. And I looked up a few examples and I saw what people were doing to create their um, nail placement in string art and they were using traditional methods rulers and compasses and measuring out the distance between all of those points and I can see how Illustrator would be a really powerful tool so I jumped right into this um, concept and put together a template here that I'm going to use in my own piece so I don't know if we're going to focus there we go it's a maple leaf of course I'm known for doing a lot of maple leaves in my design work, um, but I think it's a prime example of something that's more complicated than a circle or a square, and where plotting out even points along that path would have been maybe a little bit challenging if you were to try and do that um, by hand. So I've put together this template, and I also put together my very own piece of string art based on that template. So considering I had no experience with this before, I'm really happy with the way that this turned out. I got a cool piece to add to my art collection and hopefully this tutorial will be useful for all of you out there who have experience with string art and this will be a new technique that you can add to your arsenal. So let's go jump into Illustrator and get started building this template. Okay. Here we are in Illustrator, and like most projects, the first thing you need to do is create a new document. So you could go up to File New, or you could use the key command, Command N, and pulls up the new document window. Now, for my piece of string art, I'm working on a board that's approximately 10 inches by 10 inches. I want my template to be a little bit smaller than that, plus I only have a letter size printer. So I'm gonna work at eight inches by eight inches. Feel free to work at any size that you've got the printing capability, or whatever canvas size you feel comfortable with, but try to make that accurate. So eight inches by eight, eight inches is gonna be good for me today. And I'm going to work with a maple leaf. I'm not gonna show you how I created the maple leaf because I'm assuming that you're gonna be working with something else, possibly a logo, possibly some basic geometric shapes. But for the effect that we're creating today, the creation of the path isn't the important part. So I'm gonna paste in my maple leaf. I'm gonna size it up just a bit. So it fills my page. I'm gonna make sure it's centered. So I know my eight inch by eight inch canvas, four inches is the center point. And I'll just make this 7.25 just to control the size mathematically. So here's my maple leaf. And I want to have a series of points plotted all, all the way around. And doing this manually would be quite tedious. So if you had the circle tool and you were to create a series of circles and drag out copies, you would be here forever. And your end result probably wouldn't be all that accurate. You'd have a better chance of just freehanding this on your own in real life. The idea of using Illustrator is to be able to automate this process a bit. So the way that I accomplished that with my template was to use a stroke. So I'm gonna go up here to my color palette. I'm going to turn off the fill and I'm gonna add a plain black stroke to this path. In my case, it happens to be a maple leaf. And then I'm gonna go down here to the stroke panel and I'm gonna turn on the dash line option. And by default, you'll probably have something that looks like this. A pretty evenly spaced set of dashes that are squared off at the ends and have even gaps between them. And this is good if you are trying to create a coupon, but we're trying to create a guide for driving nails into board for stringer. So not the, not the effect we're going for. The way I created circles out of these um, lines here was to reduce the dash size to zero. And then you'll see just the remnant that this almost almost not visible line. And that's where our zero point dashes are falling on this line. What we can do though, is add a round cap to that. So the dash is zero, but we end up with a round cap on either side of it and it creates a circle. So that's getting there with the effect that we're going for with this template. 
obviously these points are plotted far too close together so we could just increase the point size here in the gap to something like that and that's probably a pretty comfortable looking space between everything but what you'll notice is in some cases our points are not falling directly on the corners or edges of the path and for the string art template that won't do because you'll end up with a wonky looking shape once you start stringing it all together. So we want to make sure that these points fall on the endpoints of this path. And the way that you accomplish that is just by turning on this option over here, align dashes to corners and path ends, adjusting lengths to fit. And what will end up happening is your points will fall on the corners now and potentially some of the spaces between them will be adjusted by Illustrator to not be exactly the gap distance that you specified over here. But, but that's all right, that's something that we can live with because this is now going to give us points that are plotted directly on all of the corners. For vis visibility sake, when you print this out, you might wanna increase it to two points just to make it everything a little bit easier to see. And then you can use the keyboard command, command P, to bring up your print dialog box and print this out on whatever printer you've got set up. Then from there, you'd go ahead and set this up on your board, drive your nails into it, rip out the piece of paper, pull out any chunks that get left behind and start stringing together your piece of string art from there. Now, this maple leaf was the way I wanted to take this project, but I'm sure there's many different ways that you could approach this. But now that you've got the technique down, it would be very simple for you to go ahead and use any other um, shape that's found here inside of the Illustrator um, default dialog box. You could use the pen tool to create your own shapes. You can bring in logos and work with those. Um, another thing that I thought would be interesting would be to start with a basic circle. So I'm gonna use the ellipse tool and I'll create a circle that looks something like that. I held down shift and option to constrain it and set my center point. And by default, the same stroke options that I had set before are still active, so that's great. Then I was thinking it would be cool to kind of create a two-tier piece of artwork where you've got the outer shape or border and then you've got something in the middle. So I thought a typographic element would be kind of cool. You can set this to a typeface that you like um, I'm going to use Bison. I bought that a while ago and I've been using it on a lot of projects. And I'm going to use my last initial, so W. And I'll scale that up, place it in the middle. And I think this would make a really neat piece of string art where you have a secondary shape inside of your outer shape. And then you could string all of this together so that there's a void created where your secondary element is. Now with a type element like this, one thing that you're going to notice is that the align dashes to the corners option is not available. So what you would need to do is nail down what letter you're working with, what font you were working with, and you would then have to create an outline from this. So instead of having a live type element that's editable, you would have to use the key command, command shift O to create outlines. Alternatively, you could have found that up here in the type menu. You would have had to go type, create outlines. Again, with most of my workflow, I like to speed things up with key commands. So command shift O would have created outlines. And now you could select that option that forces the points to be plotted at the corner. So there, as you could imagine, setting a template up like this inside of Illustrator should probably save you a lot of time um, because building one of these manually, trying to plot out the points for letters or logos or complicated shapes, I think would be quite a tedious process. Here in Illustrator, you can accomplish it in just minutes. All right, guys, that's it for me today. Hopefully this technique will be useful for you folks in the string art community to push your boundaries even further than you thought possible. Mixing in Illustrator to build your own custom templates, I'm sure will improve your workflow in a bunch of areas. And I'm sure you'll find new ways to apply this technique in your day-to-day -day creativity. Now, if you've made it to this point in the video, I'd really appreciate it if you do all those things that YouTubers ask you to do, which is to leave a comment, 
give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. The support really does mean a lot. Now, I'd also like to ex extend a thank you to the viewer who requested this topic. I really had a lot of fun putting this, this one together. I got a cool piece of art out of it. Um, it's a technique that I probably wouldn't have explored if it wasn't for your suggestion. So thank you very much. And hopefully this is what you were looking for. Hopefully you're going to find it useful and hopefully others out there will get something out of it as well. So that's the goal for my channel is to help everyone out and to become better uh, creatively along the way. This is a perfect example of that and I'm really happy with everything. So thanks again and hopefully we'll see you around in one of my other videos.